what's good my lovelies lovely soul empress here to do virgo's october love reading if you're looking for a private reading my information will be in the description box if you want to follow me on instagram you'll find me at lovely soul empress as i stated this reading is for virgo sun moon rising and venus as well as for the cross watcher if you're dealing with a virgo or someone who has that important placement as always i have prayed shuffled and meditated on the decks i didn't get any messages for you guys okay so we're just gonna be jumping right on in um as well uh, if you've watched me before you know i like to take jumpers since this is a month spread i'm gonna take three cards for every week okay so 12 card spread um and uh, we're gonna get right into it spirit can you show me what you have for my virgo gang sun moon rising venus as well as for the cross watcher dealing with a virgo or someone who has that important placement for Virgo, Spirit Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Virgo gang, Spirit, most important messages they need to know right now. Spirit for the highest good. Ever so grateful and humble for the gifts and the blessings. Spirit, please use me as your vessel for the most important messages that need to come through for my Virgo gang, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please allow those benevolent spirits and ancestors to come through and bring forth the messages for my Virgo gang. Take us into the white light of protection, Spirit. Thank you. Bottom of the deck is the Knight of Nine of Wands. Okay, let me just organize these so we can move efficiently and we will get started. Okay, Virgo, for the first week of October, you have the Knight of Pentacles, the Three of Swords, and the Nine of Swords. We're going to jump right in and start to clarify. Spirit, why is this Knight of Pentacles here for my Virgo gang? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, most important messages they need to know right now. Spirit, for their highest good, Virgo. Okay, a couple flipped out. Let's see what's going on here. This one and this one. Good. Okay, so the Knight of Pentacles. This is Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. This could be you. This is something that is moving very, very slowly. The Knight of Pentacles is moves methodically, but it moves so slowly it can feel like it's at a halt. Then you have here the Hermit. This is you, Virgo love that you're showing up so soon in the reading um and so you might be looking at a situation methodically going into hermit mode getting a um comprehension of what's really going on right but for some of you you were waiting for something for so long you, you went into hermit mode to look at at the situation from a different perspective all right, you wanted to get some illumination. Now, this is the sun card. This is Leo. This is also the happiest card in the deck, but it does talk about illumination, and it also can talk about the ego. I feel like right now um, you got some illumination from going into hermit mode, all right? And it's in regards to this uh, four of wands, the home life, right? Now, the next card you have here is uh, the three of swords spirit. Why is this three of swords here? from my Virgo gang, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Most important messages they need to know right now, Spirit. So I saw that. What else? Did anything else flip out? Okay. So um, in the first week of October, it feels like there's a heartbreak, okay? And this has to do with, it might've been that Sun card and the illumination, right? about a secret that somebody was keeping from you this is hidden secrets emotions um and the subconscious at the bottom of the deck is the tower so maybe this takes you by you know like an unwanted surprise this secret 
Spirit, why is this Nine of Swords here for my Virgo gang? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Most important messages they need to know right now, Spirit, for their highest good. So, um, this Nine of Swords is talking about sleepless nights, anxiety, depression. So, whatever this was, you know, it hit you pretty hard, whatever secret it was. But here's the star. And that, that moon card, that's cancer. So you could be dealing with a cancer, right? But um, here's the star. All right, you could have been praying on something for a while. Right? Some type of clarity, resolution, um, you know, going to the divine, like, please help me, right? Temperance is here. So this is the card of Sagittarius. That star card is the card of Aquarius. And when you see temperance, you know that it's talking about patience, healing, divine timing, restoration, and even reconciliation. So I feel like you could have been praying for this situation to be resolved in a positive manner. You could be dealing with a Sagittarius. This person, like you could be coming up as the star, trying to heal from this heartbreak. And this person could be coming up as temperance, trying to come in to um to heal as well or to ask for reconciliation but here's the four cups so i feel like this person hasn't asked it they're feeling it okay so this is the four cups is not wanting to make a love offer um afraid to make a love or accept a love offer or losing interest so i'm reading this two ways i'm feeling like your person isn't ready to come in even if they're thinking about it and you're feeling like they no longer want to do it. Right now we're going to get a soul's journey card for each of you. Spirit, can I see what Virgo needs to be working on at this time? Spirit, what does Virgo need to be working on? What does Virgo need to be working on? Spirit. Well, relationships came up in reverse. So it says, I am attracted to those people who serve my higher good. So spirit is telling you that you need to look at some, um, examine why you, um, why you were involved with this person. Maybe they're not for your highest good. Spirit, can you show me what uh, Virgo's partner needs to be working on, spirit? Okay, they got two. The phone, the first one is loneliness, Okay. I know that I am never alone. This person may do things out of a fear of being alone and purpose. I know what I am here to do. So this person doesn't feel like they know what to do with themselves yet. Um, they might be making a lot of decisions out of loneliness. And I feel like that's not helping. I feel like that could have led to that secret. I'm going to get a Manifest Your Soulmate card to see what would give you the best outcome for this week. Spirit, can you show me what would help Virgo get the best outcome they can for week one? Spirit, what would help Virgo? What would help Virgo, Spirit? What would help Virgo, Spirit? Too many, Spirit. What would help Virgo, Spirit? Thank you, Spirit. And where does the power come from? The power comes from within. So you got the um, the reconciliation card, I mean, the uh, relationship card upside down. So spirit is telling you concentrate on yourself right now. I am going to get a divine love message. Spirit, can you show me what Virgo's partner is feeling but not saying? There's another one in here. We belong together. I have something to say to you. Please allow me to say it. And we must talk. Communication can fade, but not stop between us. So um, you might have shut down because of this heartbreak. They want to open up the lines of communications. I told you that I uh, saw that they were thinking about that, but they hadn't taken an action because they were afraid of your response. Okay, so now we're going to move to week two. And in week two, you have the sun, the ten of wands, and the page of cups. Okay. Spirit, why is this sun here for my um, Virgo gang? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Most important messages they need to know right now, Spirit, for the highest good.
So the sun is Leo again. Uh, this is definitely talking about illumination. So the, by the second week, more clarity is coming in. Ten of Swords, okay, betrayal. Now the sun and then this Ten of Swords could be talking about the ending of betrayal. Maybe this person has gotten clarity, right? And then you have the Page of Pentacles. This is a tangible offer. Like, can we go to dinner? Can we talk about this? It could be for something larger too. But basically, they want to offer you something tangible, okay? And this is because of the Six of Cups, because they want to reconcile the situation. They understand, you know, that this was some heavy energy that you went through and that, you know, they broke your heart. Now, let's look at this Ten of Wands. Spirit, why is this Ten of Wands here for my Virgo gang? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, most important messages they need to hear right now, Spirit. So the Ten of Wands is talking about burdens, uh, a situation feeling so heavy, like you can't deal with it anymore, right? That's Aries, Leo, and Sag. Then you have the Knight of Pentacles here, but it came out in reverse. So I feel like you might be having trouble letting go. Or this could be representing your partner where there's absolutely no movement at all. And you wanting to let go of the burdens. Or if they're coming in, um, you're not liking the way they're coming in. Like this Knight of Pentacles is not balanced right now. It's ups upside down, right? And then uh, this is you. Four of Pentacles. You're holding back. Look how she's clutching her bag. She's like, nope. So you could be holding back financially, mentally, uh, emotionally, right? And then the death and rebirth card. So this is the card of Scorpio. I feel like all of this situation has led to a death and rebirth for you. I feel like heavy frustration energy. Page of Cups, Spirit. Why is this Page of Cups here? For my Virgo gang. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Most important messages they need to know right now. Wow. Okay. Okay, so the first one was, uh, well, Page of Cups, right? Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. This person is trying to apologize, coming in with an apology. But the Justice card is in reverse. So Justice is Libra. You could be dealing with a Libra. But this, um, this person is not really taking responsibility for their part in this. And you're feeling like it's not fair. Right? I feel like you're not really ready to accept this apology. You feel like it's still not balanced. Nine of Wands, you're feeling very defensive towards this person. Heartbreak is still here. You're not trying to hear them right now. And then the Five of Wands, there's still a lot of conflict, um, maybe internally with you and maybe internally with this person. I already told you this person is not balanced at this point. At least not by the second week of October, right? So we're going to get another uh, Soul's Journey card. Spirit, can you show me what Virgo needs to be working on second week of October, Spirit? So you got the love card. I commit to the practice of seeing the good in all things. You know, the energy is kind of heavy. You're going through a heartbreak. But Spirit is telling you don't close your heart off to love completely just because of the actions of this one person. Spirit... What does Virgo's partner need to work on, Spirit? Second week of October, what does Virgo's partner need to work on, Spirit? So, um, friendship. I understand that a friend is in my life for a reason. Um, this person may not appreciate the connections that they have. They might treat people unfairly. Right? I told you they're not balanced. Balance and then courage. I find the inner strength to face fear with confidence. I already told you this person is feeling afraid to come into you. Right? 
and um they're not being courageous because that moon card was there and they haven't told you the truth or you discovered the truth but you feel still like there's something you don't know and they're um lacking in the ability um and then the, with the four of cups i told you they're afraid to take a chance to tell you how they feel all right, let's get a manifest. Uh, your soulmate spirit, can you show me what would help Virgo manifest the best outcome they can for week two spirit? What would help Virgo manifest the best outcome they can? You are moving on to a steady and reliable path. So spirit is telling you to trust your intuition as you move forward with this person. Spirit what um what does virgo's person feel but isn't saying week two of october spirit thank you spirit i feel you're safe i feel safe in your arms you're the best thing that ever happened to me and we are twin flames our divine union is meant to be so it feels like in the second week, uh, they're coming to some realizations of their own. Uh, they just don't have the courage to voice them. Okay, so we're going to move on to week three. Week three, you have the lovers, the seven of swords, and the seven of wands. Okay. Spirit, why is this lover's card here for Virgo? Spirit, why is this lover's card here for Virgo? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. So the lovers is Gemini, okay? When you see the lovers, you know that a choice has already been made in love, okay? I, you could be dealing with a Gemini, but I feel like your person is coming in apologizing. Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio with that page of cups. And because they have love for you, right? Ace of cups. Now, you have the seven of swords. Spirit, why is the seven of swords here for my... Virgo gang. So um, the Seven of Swords is deception, manipulation, uh, lying, sneaky, could even be a thief, right? So this person is telling you they love you. But they're still deceiving you in some way. And then the world card is here. This is Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, and Leo. It could be dealing one of those signs. But the world represents cycles coming to an end and new cycles beginning. And then that's being clarified with the full Aries. So your person um, could just ghost you because they don't have the courage to face the consequences of their actions right? Or this could be you taking a leap of faith because you realize that although there's love here, this person is deceptive and it's time to close out the cycles and you're off in a new direction. Now let's look at this seven of wands spirit. Why is this seven of wands here? Why is this seven of wands here spirit? So the seven of wands is talking about feeling defensive, standing your ground, right? Trying to beat out the competition. But I feel like um, you're feeling defensive, even though this person is telling you they love you, Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio. But I feel like you are you are embodying this Queen of Cups. Like you're into your emotions and you are uh, very intuitive, right? And you're tapping in. Look how she's in the, the water tapping into the divine, right? So you're standing your ground, and the reason why is because of this Ten of Pentacles in reverse. This is the community, a family, generational wealth legacy, right? In the reverse, um, it, you're not feeling like this is gonna be fruitful for you. You feel like there's no growth in this situation, like it can't um, become, it can't get in the upright. That's how you feel, right? And you have the five of cups here, regrets and love. This person, they may have promised you the ten of pentacles, but uh, their deceptive energy they couldn't deliver. It leaves you heartbroken. Um, I feel like they have regrets and love too. 
Let's get a, man of, um, a soul's journey card. Spirit, can you show me what will help Virgo? What does Virgo need to work on right now, Spirit? Humor. I choose to focus on the lighter side of life. Okay, Spirit is, is telling you basically don't let this um, one situation change your whole outlook on life. Okay? And Spirit... What does uh, Virgo's partner need to work on, Spirit? What does Virgo's partner need to work on? I just said they have regrets, right? Regret. I know that I cannot change the past, okay? So this person is going to have to accept, you know, how much pain they caused you. Maybe they're struggling with that. Gonna get a divine love message. Well, let me get the manifesto soul me first. Spirit, show me what will help Virgo. Get the best outcome they can for a week. Three, Spirit. Everything you need, your courage, strength, compassion, and love, everything you need is already within you. So Spirit is saying, don't look for, um, for healing outside. You need to go within for that, okay? And love yourself as much as you want your soulmate to love you. So Spirit is saying, take your power back and start filling your own cup. And follow your heart's desires and manifest the heck out of your life. Tonight is a full moon. Perfect time, okay? Go to the universe and uh, tell them what you want, how you want things to improve, okay? Now I'm going to get a divine love message. Spirit, can you show me what Virgo's person is feeling but not saying? So you are always in my thoughts came in reverse, okay? So they might tell you that, um, but really I feel like with that uh, courage and friendships, like they, they don't know the value of the people that they have in their life, all right? And they're very scattered in their energy. Okay, we're going to move on to a uh, week. You have the Empress, the Nine of Pentacles, and the Chariot. Spirit, why is this Empress here? Why is this Empress here? Thank you, Spirit. So the Empress is Taurus and Libra. You could be dealing with a Taurus or Libra, but I'm feeling like your person sees you as the Empress. Now, also, uh, the Empress is the mother of the world, the mother of creativity. She uh, also often is pregnant. So there could be a pregnancy going on. You could be pregnant. Somebody else could be pregnant, right? Or you could be pregnant with creativity. But the Empress knows her self-worth. She's the embodiment of all four queens. All right? And then Ten of Wands, uh, Burdens in Reverse. So I feel like by the end of the month, you're rejecting any of this shit. And you block this person. Uh, page of, one, of Swords, right? And this person is spying on you. Because you're not letting them in, okay? And then you got the Nine of Pentacles here. Spirit, why is this Nine of Pentacles here? For my Virgo gang, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So this is the minor arcana, the Empress. So Empress, like double Empress energy, right? This is a very, um, this is my looking good, smelling good, feeling good card, right? She is very abundant. She is uh, self-confident. She's usually a business owner. You're like, I, I could do this on my own. I don't really need to uh, be dealing with this. And then here's the magician. Now, mind you, the, uh, the empress, she can manifest whatever she wants. And then that's being taught by the magician, which is the card of Aries. Now, the magician has all um, the, the tools he needs to manifest. I feel like that's how you are right now. Like you're the nine of pentacles with the magician. But the two of wands in reverse. I feel like if you were waiting for this person to make a decision, they are in reverse. They're not making a decision. 
they're kind of in denial of what's happening or they think that you know you'll come around also the nine of pentacles sometimes she's waiting for somebody although she doesn't necessarily show that outwardly right because she's so self-confident but she's not waiting at home crying she's like waiting at the bank right And this person could feel like um, like you won't accept their offer anyway. They could be feeling like a missed opportunity. They could be trying to manifest you too. And um, feeling like you're shutting them down because you're the Nine of Pentacles. You're looking good, smelling good, feeling good. You seem unbothered spirit but i really feel like you block this person you don't want to deal with it i feel like they are not wanting to deal with the consequences spirit why is the chariot here okay So the chariot is the card of cancer you could be dealing with the cancer but when you see the chariot you know that now movement is happening quickly okay this could be a physical move this could be uh moving to or from something rapidly this could be physically moving mentally moving emotionally moving right this also could be travel international travel this could be um a vacation but i feel like you're quickly pulling away from this person because of the high priestess okay this is piscean energy like your intuition is telling you that this person isn't um they're not balanced like you're feeling like uh they're in denial they don't want to make a decision you're like don't worry i got it i'll do it the wheel of fortune the wheel is starting to turn away from them you as you see you've jumped on the wheel you're ready to go this is Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, and Leo, right? Cycles closing, new cycles beginning. And then you have the Seven of Wands in reverse. You're no longer uh, dealing with um, trying to beat out the competition. You're not defensive. You're just like, I'm done. The lovers in reverse. Gemini, okay? You're like, no, I'm really done. And this person may not believe you. but that's how it's coming up now also the seven of wands could be indicating that they're not going to fight you on it that they're just going to let you go okay so let's get let's clarify this nine of wands first and then we'll get the other cards spirit why is this nine of wands the overall energy for my virgo gang So the Nine of Wands is the Wounded Warrior. This talks about being defensive or standing your ground, right? And then that's being clarified with the Knight of Wands in reverse. The King of Wands in reverse. This person in the upright, this is a person who goes after what they want and uh, knows how to get it. In the reverse, this person is not making the effort. Okay, they're not making the effort and they could because they have the power to do so. And then you have the nine of cups in reverse. It's not their wish that you get away, but they're just not uh, willing to put forward the effort. And then the ace of wands in the upright, even though they have a lot of passion for you. And this is also talking about using the phallic symptom, symbol. Okay, so this person could be leading with their passions elsewhere but you have the nine of wands and then the ace of wands and makes a ten and then their lack of willing to put in the effort pretty much says you know that the situation is coming to an end spirit can i get a soul's journey card for my virgo gang spirit sun moon rising and venus denial I acknowledge my fear, but I replace it with the insight of awareness. So spirit is is like 
you know, when I said that the Nine of Pentacles is waiting in her heart, but she's not showing that outwardly. Spirit is like, let it go. Spirit, what, um, what does Virgo's partner need to work on, Spirit? So, um, freedom. So I feel like this person didn't have the courage to tell you that they weren't prepared uh, to be in a really committed relationship and that they need to go find their happiness. I possess the power and the free will to create my own happiness, right? And failure. I understand that a mistake is the only opportunity to learn. I feel like this person doesn't see it like that. They just shut down. They walk away and, you know, that's it. Okay, let's get a manifest for your soulmate card. Spirit, can you show me what will help Virgo manifest the best outcome they can for week four of October, Spirit? Fall in love when you are ready, not when you're lonely. So Spirit is saying don't stay with this person just because you're afraid to be alone. And let things come and go. Stay calm. Don't let anything disturb your peace and carry on, right? And I did say that um, the Nine of Pentacles, that even when she's going through stuff, she seems unbothered. And that's what Spirit is telling you to do. Uh, embody that. And then divine love messages. Spirit, can I get a divine love message? How is um, Virgo's partner feeling but not saying? What are they saying? This is not what I want, but we're heading in the wrong outcome. We both have to change. It came up in reverse. They're pretty much, they don't know. They're like, is it your fault? Is it my fault? I don't know. I don't want to put in the work, right? Anger and resentment affect us both. Let's talk to solve our issues. And I'm waiting for our divine connection. But in the meantime, I'm focusing on myself for us. I feel like these two things are things that they say. And then this is how they really feel. This is not what I want. We are heading to a wrong outcome. We both have to change. And then it's in reverse. So it's like it is secretly what they want to be free because they don't have the tools to be in a committed relationship is what I'm getting. All right. So now we're going to go into the love and romance deck. Spirit, what does Virgo feel for their person? Look at that. You're attracted to them. It came out right away, right? Um, You... Would you want to forgive and learn, but I feel like you want that for your own healing, right? Spirit, how does uh, Virgo's partner feel about them? How does Virgo's partner feel about them? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. So um, they have romantic feelings for you, but right at the bottom of the deck is deception. So this person... They're so afraid to come clean, they'd rather lose you than tell the truth. Spirit, what actions will Virgo take towards their partner in October, Spirit? Finances and career. So you're having trouble um, concentrating on other areas of your life. You might work with this person and maybe it's just like, I don't even want to go to work. I have to see this person, right? Spirit, what actions is Virgo's partner going to take towards them? So, um, the wedding card is here. So, you could have been married to this person, okay? Um, I feel like there's even a chance that they can offer you some type of leveling up of the commitment to keep you. And give this relationship a chance. And then the engagement card. And then children. Past life relationship. This could be the one. Make the effort. But pay attention to new flags. Uh, to red flags with the new love. So what I'm feeling is. For some of you. This person has started another relationship. Rather than handle the conflict with you. Maybe that was the secret that they were having um, the, the buddings of a new relationship spirit. What's the outcome for this situation for my Virgo gang? 
So um, retreat is here. So I feel like you will be um, pulling away, pulling away from this person. And then religious factors is in reverse. So I feel like in the upright it says your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing, spiritual path. Okay, so this person is gonna give you some bullshit. Like, oh, you know, um, I feel like we're so different. And then keep an open mind is in reverse, right? But really, is that they started another relationship somewhere else. So they're going to try to um, make you feel like it's you when it's them. Spirit, can I get some advice for my Virgo gang? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, most important messages, Spirit. Things come to light. Like I said, there's things you don't know. There's deception. Okay, this person's going to try to tell you that it's you when really they have other ties okay that's what i have for you guys okay so i just want to say thank you to my returning subscribers for coming to spend a little time with me and if you're a new viewer and you felt that resonated with you please like subscribe and comment as i would love to have you as part of the lovely soul family i'm wishing y'all light and love and blessings on blessings namaste